After my uh, parents divorced, um, I never lived in one place for more than three years. So to graduate high school, uh, I went over 10 schools. You know, so we, I just moved on a, a lot. After I graduated, I worked full-time retail and it was very stressful and didn't like it. My mom taught me to, you know, I'm till 20 years old, you can have as uh, much as fun as you want. Uh, between 20 to 30s, that's where you wanted to kind of narrow things down and uh, trying to focus on what you want to do. And when you have 40 years old, that's when you want to start mastering and become very good in what you do. You're trying to learn all these tricks, but you know what? You cannot stop, right? You can kind of continue to climb up to the top. I was really motivated to just to earn money. So I was working three jobs, and one of them was a retail store. And when I was there, uh, that's where I, you know, I met Liz. And then uh, we've been married for 15 years now. So when I met Christopher, um, we talked about how one day I want to just stay at home. To me, the most important thing is family. So to be able to watch our kids grow and spend all that time with them, it's amazing that we're able to do that. Our three little kids, I mean, they are very special to us. Um, the oldest one, her name is Mina. Uh, she is 14 years old right now. And uh, she is um, she's a queen. She loves sports, she does gymnastics, uh, she competes. Once she gets her mind in something, she's very committed to it. And she does pretty well. Uh, our middle son is Christopher, and I named him after myself. And uh, you know, he's my first boy, he's 10 years old. He is a, a brain guy, you know, he loves studying, he wants to become an engineer when he grows up. And my youngest son is a, is a clown. His name is Case, he is six. He's very special, that guy is very special. When we were dating, I asked him what he did, and it was just on the side, and he told me, oh, come along and come to a meeting, and I thought, okay. So when I first was introduced to network marketing, I was very excited about it, because of my background, um, you know, when I was seven and a half years old, with my two little sisters, we moved to a foreign country, and, uh, and we still living with my mom. So we were raised by a single mom, however, um, to my mom to put a food on the table, she had to go out to work. And with that, so we only got to see my mom only once or twice a month. And we were raised by babysitters. And I, I still remember when I was seven and a half years old, my two little sisters crying, asking for mommy all the time. And I had to be the one to comfort them, right? So during those time, I, I told myself that, you know what, when I become own parent, I'm going to make sure that uh, I'm going to be able to be there for them. So when I was introduced to network marketing, I, I just knew this was my opportunity. If I have somebody like an average person like myself, um, that has an opportunity where to make a good income to be able to watch my own kids. When you go there, you meet all these like very positive people with a lot of energy and it was so different from working at where I was working and it was just like kind of, wow, what is this? And when I went to the first meeting, I saw this an average person that was making 10, 15, 20, 40 thousand dollars a month and, I was, and they told me that your experience doesn't matter, your education doesn't matter. I mean, I went to college, but I didn't finish college. So when I sold that, I was like, man, this is my opportunity here. So after that, I just hang on to this opportunity. And I just know that you just have to learn the skills to become good at what I do. Network marketing, it's, um, it's not easy. It is easy, but it's not easy at the same time. First three years, I spent close to $50,000 going to seminars and trainings. And, and again, I was making like 26000 a year. But that's where I wanted to invest into myself and my knowledge. Uh, so my first th three years I struggled, but I just knew that I, I took that as that's my university. And after my third years, that's when I started making six figures uh, in this industry. Uh, then I started to uh, help other people do exactly the same. You want to enjoy the journey while you're along with it. And the, you know, the things you come along with it, the personal growth, uh, people skills, uh, all those things I learned, to me, I'll just never take that back. From the moment I met him, he's been always thinking about the good in things, but just I feel like as the years passed on, he's learned so much from people, and he he wants to learn. He's you know he always wants to grow. The people I surround myself with is like another huge family. You know, we just help uplift each other, just motivate each other, and uh, we we got each other's back. And we all cry together, we laugh together, uh, we party together. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Just to watch the whole process it was really great because he's become really incredible at what he does and even as a person I think he's really grown. I am Chris Cannon. I am a husband. I am a dedicated father. I am a achiever. I am a leader and I am a network marketing professional. I'm Liz Cannon. I'm a wife. I'm a mother. I'm a supporter and I'm a network marketing professional. Ladies and gentlemen, my wish for you is that you'll decide to become a network marketing professional. And you decide to go pro.
because it's a stone cold fact that we have a better way. Now let's go tell the world.